Hey, what's up, y'all? It's the singing SLP back with another banger. Uh, this is a cool one. So, if you don't know me, I am a singing speech therapist who loves to incorporate music into speech sessions, and I'm also a barber. I'm a sensory haircut specialist. I um, love to use sensory integration strategies by providing kids who have difficulty with haircuts. Um, an experience that is memorable and enjoyable, so it's not as traumatic. Um, so yeah, today we got my boy here. This is this is my guy. Um, we're gonna start off. If you're thinking about doing a home haircut, um, start off in a place where they're comfortable um, around people that they know and love. So this is great right here. We're just gonna take down with a. I believe this is a number three card so um wanted to leave the top pretty long or longer than the size that we're going to cut down with so um we're going to start from there honestly i don't even think it's like the itch factor it's just like him wanting to watch his shows <laughs> you know it's like you're bothering him <laughs> right <laughs> we did yeah, Buster, you got the magnet? I feel like it still needs to go up one. It's still hanging what? I think it needs to go up one. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn, that is fresh. Don't you love it? I, I love, love it. it. Here you go. You. You. Let's take it up. There you go. There you go. Okay, so what you just saw there, um, we didn't want to start with the cape, uh, just because a lot of kids that I work with, um, and I mean, you watching this right now, it can kind of feel like enclosed, you can feel trapped. So just wanted to start him off with a comfortable experience. Um, but since the hair was getting on him, uh, it's, he started to get itchy so we went ahead and just tried to put the cape on and it worked out pretty well so um here we are with a uh no guard so no guard attachment we're going around the hair this is a fade so if you're trying to do a fade on your child's hair this is the best place to start you know knock down with the number three guard all the way around and then we're going to go with a no guard and this is a no guard closed all the way around um, into the shape that you want. So we went a little low fade um, with the drop back towards the back of the head, starting at the eyebrow. So I use that as my guide. Like I start with the eyebrow and I go all the way around and then start to go down where the ear is. Um, and you can see that side there is where we started that drop fade. So yeah, um, right now we're just going around, clearing the area, making sure it's nice and neat because you can obviously go back, but you wanna have a good uh, start as my uh, brush fell down, but you wanna have a good start and I think that's a great establishment right there. All right, so bear with me. This is like my first haircut tutorial. I don't know if I need to like talk the whole time. I want to play out this music so you guys can enjoy it. But uh, all right, so um, here we have the no guard open. So that lever on the side of the clipper, you're gonna bring that all the way down. Um, so it's open and you're gonna do like a flick out motion, okay? Um, and again, I started cutting my own hair when I was young, watch YouTube videos and, um, wanted to provide a, an experience for a lot of the kids I work with that, um, have difficulty and that's all right. So, um, went around with the no guard open and now 
So it's just like a fade, you wanna think about like the number of guards. So now we're gonna go with the one guard open. And I know a little guy is, uh, unfortunately had a hair in his eye. So um, the fact that he is tolerating um, just staying in the seat, like that's big time. Um, you know, mom, uh, who's in the picture, like she was describing one of the first haircuts um, that we had where we took multiple breaks and it was a great experience, but um, even before that, she was saying that it would take hours to get his hair cut and, you know, it was a whole, whole ordeal just to get the family to, you know, get him prepped. So, uh, to go from that to now, like, I mean, it's a complete 180. So it's been super cool to work with these kids and help with sensory strategies. Um, and for all the moms and dads and caregivers, grandparents out there trying to give haircuts to their loved ones, like just remember it's possible, like it's not impossible. So um, yeah, we went around with the one guard open um, and now we are going um, with the two guard open. And again, it's just a progression, no guard, no guard open. Uh, one guard open and now this is a two guard open because remember it's gonna go into that three so now I brought back the three guard and um, now we're just blending it trying to make sure the top matches the bottom um, so yeah like I was saying I was just watching YouTube videos and thought that was a way for me to learn and save money so um, you know, I want to provide a, an affordable experience for uh, caregivers out there that are needing this service. So um, if you're in the Atlanta area, come out. Come on. I got you. So, um, yeah, going around with the three guard, um, using a brush. And one of the things that I want you to remember is use a flick out motion um, so you don't have such harsh lines. And that's what I had to remember when I was starting barbering that like it, it, when I would create these lines um, early on, I was creating those harsh lines. So just flick out um, and that top will start to connect. And what I'm doing that you may not see as it goes fast is yes, I'm flicking out with the three, but um, there will be brief moments I like start to pull the lever on the left side of the clip, uh, clipper and I move it up, right? So um, this is a, uh, this is artwork, you know what I mean? Like you don't just have it as, um, okay, it's a set point and you just make a line. Um, you see how, you know, their hair grows, you see how their head is shaped, like you go with the hair, you, it, it's a learning experience. Um, I'm always learning and I'm not the best barber, but you know, I try to keep learning and understanding different techniques. So, um, yeah, like going in right here, you, you just want to see what lines, um, need to be blended and you go in, try to blend it out. Um, so now we're just back with the one guard or excuse me, I'm sorry, the half guard, um, all the way open and you want to kind of make that point where we had the one guard and the zero guard and now you're just trying to blend that so you can kind of see the blend already happening um i'm a perfectionist so i'm gonna keep going back and forth with my guards but um yeah just try to make it match uh it's not as easy as can say but um the hair cutting experience is possible so I want to provide these strategies for you guys at home and um, hopefully this benefits you guys. So you yeah, have just cleaning up here. Um, one of the things that we love to do when we're doing haircuts is giving them a toy that they enjoy, um, a learning experience that they enjoy, whether that be YouTube, um, whether that be through their iPad games, uh, something that they can have to distract them um, from the the hairs falling on their head and um, just make it enjoyable. But I mean, like our guy is just, he's doing it, man. He's doing it. Very proud of him. 
Um, yep, just cleaning up final areas. And I think we did it. Oh, nope. It's like, <laughs> uh, let's see, we're back with a three guard, three guard. So yeah, we're just blending it all around. But man, that's not a bad fade. That's not bad. Um, I hope you enjoyed this y'all um if you could give me a like and follow that'd be great because uh i'm a struggling artist out here <laughs> um but for real love y'all hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did creating it and uh there's a cut i'll see you next time